Dear students, we many times confront such functions where there are many functions getting added or subtracted. It means that we have functions in which there are terms with pluses and minuses. How we can integrate such functions is what we are going to see. Uh, since I'm saying being added and being subtracted, it means that we are talking about two situations. That is sum as well as a difference. Therefore, this rule is collectively termed as sum difference rule of integration. Whereas we can separate these two possibilities like sum rule of integration and difference rule of integration. However, we are clustering them together for sake of ease. Now you can see that uh, this rule has a certain statement and that is very simple. You can read this. Because actually it is very simple. And the process is uh, that we integrate all the functions in that given function separately and keep the signs as they are. If we have a function that has two functions in which we have two functions, we will separately integrate them and it will be the same as the same. And the same holds true that if there is a minus in the middle. So we will see this in detail. This is a function that the sum and the difference of both possibilities depict. That is f of x is a sum or difference of these two functions g of x and h of x. Now this was a symbolical uh, way of writing the things. Ab usi function ko ab humne dono sides pe integrate kar diya with respect to x. Because yaan par jo independent variable hai wo x hai. Plus c. Plus c aayega because this is uh, integration in which we you know introduce the constant of integration. However, the most important thing to note is कि पहले ये overall integration थी, अब हमने separately दोनों functions के ऊपर introduce करवा दिया। तो इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि हमने जो बात कही थी, it is now you know perfected into this function, जहाँ पर दोनों को हमने अलग-अलग से integrate कर दिया। Numerical example के बगैर the message cannot be conveyed properly, और ये हम करने जा रहे हैं with the help of this numerical example। इसके अंदर पहले हमारे पास ये है फंक्शन और दूसरा फंक्शन ये है और तीसरा फंक्शन ये है। You would be surprised if I call it a function, but you should not be, because this is a constant function, this is a linear function, and this is a cubic function. So हम इन तीनों को एक सेपरेट फंक्शन की हैसियत से देख सकते हैं। और यहाँ पर इस एग्जांपल में प्लस भी है और माइनस भी। इसका मतलब ये है कि हमने द Now, this situation we can write in another way. And this is the general way. If you keep that numerical instance in the mind, then this is the same thing that there is a minus and a plus. And there are three sub-functions. Sub-functions we can say because they are developed from the overall function. So, the three of them is the same. It is very easy. Where there is a sum or a difference, फंक्शन का अलहदा से इंटीग्रल और फिर दूसरे फंक्शन का इंटीग्रल और फिर तीसरे फंक्शन का इंटीग्रल वेर एज द साइंस दे आर प्रिजर्व हम उन्हें चेंज नहीं कर रहे दे वर माइनस एंड दे आर स्टिल यू नो द सेम नॉट चेंजिंग ये जो स्टेप्स हैं ये आप खुद कर सकते हैं डी आई वाई डू इट योर सेल्फ बिकॉज अभी हम uh, जानते हैं दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट अ पावर फंक्शन यहाँ पर पावर फंक्शन रूल अप्लाई हो रहा है यहाँ पर भी और इस केस में कांस्टेंट फंक्शन रूल अप्लाई हो रहा है जो कि हम बाकी वीडियोस में सीख चुके हैं। सो इन स्टेप्स के बाद जो कि आप इजीली सिंपल अल्जब्रा करने के बाद सिंपलिफिकेशन करने के बाद ये आंसर देखेंगे। यू कैन वेरीफाई दिस आंसर बाय डूइंग and you can see here we have done that ये original function था और उसके बाद हमने उसको integration के बाद depict किया है ये three x की power four होगा और इनके जो pattern है आप change होते हुए देख रहे हैं because this is a cubic function और ये अब function with a power of four बन चुका है so this is how we can integrate a function which appears either or both 
some and difference. Thank you.